Hey, sneaking us back. Yeah, another video. Yeah, big day, big day, big day. <whistles> As they say. Well, this is Ubuntu Kylin 1710 Beta 2. Now, I've played around with this for quite a while. Yeah. Well, not just this version, the earlier versions. And I really liked it. But now they've like changed quite a lot since the last time I used it. Okay, bearing in mind this is 1710 Beta, so you only had to get it into October, is it 19th or 21st? And it runs really, really nice, actually. It's a bit matey going down. A bit of a mate thing going down. Remember, it's made for the Chinese market, okay? So the language would be in Mandarin, I imagine. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So what is it like? You know what? It's really quick, smooth, and simple to use, I must admit. I know I haven't done a video a while ago about using it, and there were some maybe dodgy things going down, but as for general use, I don't think it'll be too bad, really, honestly, okay? So what do you get? Get nice little icons down here. They have their own icon thing. See, the Firefox theme is like the curled up fox. I used to like that one years ago. Do you remember that one? That's really good. Okay, we'll open it. Nice and snappy. There are a few things I've found with it that are a bit of a pain. I've updated it also. It's actually installed in the box, okay? I'm not going to put it on real hardware because I'm never going to use it, as I said last time. Okay. We have another distribution, which you'll see next time. Oh, that's right. This one will go up before the last one. So they're going to be a bit round the wrong way. Okay. So the web browser's here. Swift Square and updates. We have a look. Yes, we have a quick look. Has it changed too much? No, not at all. Not at all. Remember, this is Artful Aardvok. We've gone back to A now. God, I remember when I first used it in, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. Before you was all born, most of you. Okay. So this is the bit I don't really like. It's a bit mixed up at the moment, whereas before it wasn't really like this. Okay. So you get home here. That's my home folder. Yeah, that's fine. That's all that should be. The theme goes with the backdrop. I like that too. That's really good. I don't mind that at all. And what's changed about it? Well, not really. It just, it's just kind in and it's meant for the Chinese market. But if you're an English speaker, French speaker, you can have it in any language you want. Okay. If you like the look of it, Go and give it a go. It's entirely up to you, okay? So if I go to all apps, this is the one that really uh, bugs me. So if we scroll down, we have all the Uber Office stuff here, okay? It's all for Office, yeah? But if we go to Office, we don't have anything. But if we go to Games, we get Games. And if we go to Accessories, we get Accessories. Now, as you can see, they're using a lot of Mate stuff now, okay? I'm sure last time I used it, it was completely different. But hey, things move on. we all got to go forward with the times. Yeah, we do. So it goes to the system monitor. Now, remember, it's in the box, okay? So it will be using quite a bit more than normal. But as I said before, <clears throat> no, as I said, in the future, which you'll find out soon, you don't have a swap file now. You have a swap folder, okay? Which I really like, because most modern systems don't really need a swap file. If you've got an old machine that's like 7 to 10 years old, you might need a larger file for swap, okay? Because you won't have that much RAM. But on this... Yeah, don't really mind, does it? You know, I'll give it quite a bit of RAM. Two gig of RAM, it's more than enough. It's using 642 megs of RAM, 0.45, say. Well, on real hardware, that will probably halve. Okay, so don't worry about that whatsoever. Here's a system. So I'm, I'm using it on my Intel i7 here, and I've given it four cores, just to relate to a normal stuff. So if you've got a four core machine, it will give you that. No problem at all. Yeah, nice. So what else is it giving me? Let's have a quick look in all apps again. Okay, I went to additional drivers. There's nothing there except for the Intel microcode that I can actually use. You can change the VirtualBox driver. There's no real point, really, if you're going to use it in the box. Because it's going to be a temporary thing, really, if it's in the box, isn't it, really? But you do get Cheese, Chromium, and Firefox for your web browsers. Disk usage. And Grandpa Archive Manager. I have made for viewing your images. Firefox, I said before, Image Magic. That seems to come standard with all the higher end Ubuntu's, okay? So, KD, well, especially Ubuntu GNOME. Well, sorry, we're calling it just Ubuntu now, aren't we? I'm getting confused, okay. There's the full LibreOffice suite. The Make Color selection, so you can change all the stuff on your screen. So, it's all there for you. MPV Media Player. Everybody's going to that now. I don't know, I don't particularly like it personally. And the Mate Search Tool, okay? Passwords and Keys. If you really want to do that. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, think. Right, I'm going to give you two seconds. Think about it. One, two. Don't use that, okay? On on this particular distribution. Just in case. Yeah. So it has plenty here for you. Your quote assistant. What the thing is that? All right. That's pretty good, isn't it? Clean up your system. 
Okay. Mm, that that's actually quite a nice one to have. Actually, if it works fine, I'm not going to try it on virtual hardware. We'd have to try it on real hardware. To be really honest with you, okay. But that's a nice thing to have. Get rid of that over there. We're closed. By the way. Okay. Next, where are we? We had Yoko, didn't we? Okay. Uh, see, there's not much, too much play. Oh, well, I will say the whole of the 1710 beta 2 range. I've tried them all today. All of them, yes. I've downloaded them all and tried them all. I'm not going to upload videos on them all. But all I will say is a lot smoother experience. No, it really is. It makes it actually nice, quite nice to use them all. I mean, I'm going to try Ubuntu Studio next. That's the one I haven't tried yet. To see if that's made a difference. I used to have a lot of trouble with that one because I really like using it. But it just wasn't doing it. Oh, also remember, you get Wayland support here and Mir support, apparently. Really? Really? Really canonical? Come on. Just get on one boat or the other. Ditch the dying one and just move along like you did with Unity. Yeah, be okay. But bear in mind this is beta 2, so it's locked down. So basically this is what you're going to get in October. It's really nice. If I right click the desktop, we'll change our backgrounds. Bear in mind it's a Chinese themed thing. Okay. What's that there? Well, that's quite nice. Where's that? Who knows? There's some quite nice backgrounds here for you to change. Okay. Okay, we'll keep that one. Okay, that seems good. Wherever the hell it is. Okay. But yeah, on the whole, so I'll open the browser up before we go anywhere. These are all going to be really, really short videos I'm doing on the Bantus. So there's no need to take up too much time because once it comes out in October, we can have a really, really good play and see how it is. Now, bearing in mind it's Chinese, this is going to be your stutter page. I haven't got a clue what's going on, but I imagine it's really fun if you live in mainland China. Yeah, must be. Or maybe not. Okay, maybe it's one of those sites that you don't go to. But they put it on the start page, so it must be reasonably good. I mean, I can understand the nines here. I, mean, I should really translate the page, really soon, but I can't remember. Oh, I know that is. RMB. That's how much it costs. Okay. So they're selling something. Mmm. Okay. On the whole, Ubuntu Kylem, Chinese version of Ubuntu, is really nice to use if you want to give it a go. Some of you may be worried about security. Uh, we'll wait for Ivan to come out of his, his little hole that he's in at the moment and have a look at it because he does that. I don't do that. Okay, That's what he's here for. Okay, That's his only view on this earth, is to do that sort of security stuff. I can help him out if he wants to, sometimes. But I've got other things to do. Okay, I like it. It's very nice. If you don't mind, go and give it a try in the box because it will look like this. It's super duper. You may like it and want to run it as a full system. If you don't, you've tried it, no worries. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.